You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Jones Henry versus Jackson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good, Good day. day. Ms. Jones Henry, you say that the defendant, Mr. Jackson, swept you off your feet only to dump you after finding out you were pregnant. But you are positive he is the biological father of your daughter, Melanie. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Jones Henry, this will be your first time seeing Mr. Jackson since you claim he got you pregnant. And Melanie, you are meeting your alleged father face to face for the very first time today. Is that correct? Yes, yes Your, your Honor. Honor. Are you ready to see him? Yes, yes Your, your Honor. Honor. Jerome, can you please escort the defendant yes. into the courtroom? Ms. Jones Henry. Yes, Your Honor. I can feel the anger. I can cut the tension with the knife in here right now. And Melanie, how are you feeling right now in this moment, Ms. Jones? I'm hurt. I feel a little lost. Um, unwanted. This is my first time ever even seeing him. I've never even seen him up, hugged him or anything, and I called him when I was little and asked him <laughs> to come and see me, and he told me he would come, and he never came, and that hurts. How could he not want me? I just don't understand why I'm a good... I was a good child, you know? I just don't understand why he don't want me. I can see how much that hurts you, and... I don't believe I'm the... I'm her father. Uh, I never did. I know she's been with other people, even while we were together, so... You want, excuse me, may I address it? It's not true. She admitted that she was with someone else. No. I, I tricked her into admitting, admitting that she true. was with no. someone else. So wait a minute. You're saying you tricked her into admitting that? Yes. When what did you do? Me, Explain to the court. When she told me that she was pregnant, I knew that I wasn't a father, but I said, you need to go check with that other guy that you were with the last time. She said she didn't know that I, I was lying about that. I was just talk, just speaking out of my mind. She admitted that she was with someone else. Did so, you admit you were with someone else, Ms. Jones, true, Henry? Yes, it is. It's true. I've never admitted that I was with anybody else. As far as me, I've always, always told her Clarence was her father and felt the clans was off why they knew. That's because they was I was the only one she could get a hold of. The guy that she was supposed to have been, that she was supposed to have been with, she couldn't find him. So then she came to me. So, Ms. Jones Henry, was there any other guy? Were you no, with Your Honor. any other guy during the time? No, Your Honor. Your daughter was conceived? No, Your Honor. So take me back to this relationship. I want to try to understand. What was the nature of your relationship with Mr. Jackson? When I met Mr. Jackson, I met him at a club. He was in the military. We were together all week long while he was there. We wasn't a fly by night. We were just together. And I had no reason to believe that he's not my baby's father. No, Your Honor. I met her at the club, yes. I was in the military. I wasn't even 19 yet. I met her. We had a good time. By the t we talked that night that I met her. By the time I got off the phone, she was telling me, uh, you know, I could fall in love with you, which was a red flag to me. Like, That's oh, no, true. here we go. So, wait a minute. How... Okay. But did you sleep with her after that, after that phone conversation? After the phone conversation, yes. We had... Uh, we were together for a while. Not that night, though. So, that red flag obviously wasn't that bright. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was only for just to be together. That's it. That's... It's not... It was... And so, how soon after this did you find out you were pregnant, Ms. Jones? A few, a few months. And I told him. He wasn't either ecstatic or he just didn't give a reaction to anything. So, no reaction? None. No joy? None. Nothing? Nothing. Did he deny it at the time? He didn't deny or he just gave no reaction. Mr. Jackson, what were you thinking when she told you she was pregnant? That she was lying. I just figured she was lying. I knew she was lying. And then when I said what I said, that you need to talk with the other guy that you were with, all of a sudden, she admitted it then, and I was like, okay. I know what's going on here. She's just trying to trap another, you know, military man. So... You're on a mask. Yes. I didn't need to trap a military man. I was in love with the man because we were together every day. I was... 
thinking that we were going to get married and go. I spoke with his mother. I, I, I sent pictures to him. I didn't know what, to, you know, what to believe. All I know, I was in love. And you don't remember him asking you about any other person? No, he this never question, asked he that says, question. where he tried That's to trick you. He never asked that question. And so, after you told him you're pregnant, were you still around, Mr. Jackson? Did you participate at all with the pregnancy? The, no, he did never you participated. Sit... He left. He left. And you went off to serve? I was in the Marine Corps. I went off to... I mean, I, my duty station changed. It wasn't that I left. Like, I, you know, I had to leave. That was the end of my time at that point. Exactly. And we thank you for your service. So, this is a certificate of live birth for Melanie Jones. And I see mother signature. I see mother's name under father. I see nothing. He wasn't there. He started to pay child support. Mr. Jackson, so how did you find out if you weren't there for the birth and you weren't there to sign this birth certificate, how did you find out you were on child support? I got a letter or the, um, the letter from child support agency stating that uh, I had a child. Well, I talked to my supervisors, my superior supervisors. They told me, they asked me, are you going back to Tennessee? I said, no. They said, are you, uh, are you the father? And I said, no. They said, well, then don't worry about it. So I didn't worry about it. I said, okay, no big deal. She'll go after the guy that she was supposed to have been with. So you got a letter? At the time, I, my check started getting garnished. I was getting like $35 every two weeks. Well, while at that time, a girl in our finance department told me, she asked, why are your checks so small? So then I said, because I'm paying child support. And she's like, well, <laughs> i tell you what. Why don't you sign up for BAQ, which is dependence pay? I signed up for dependence pay, but the only way I could get that is if I signed saying I am the father of, their child, of, uh, of Melanie. Legal lesson number one, when the court calls, you answer. Right. Right? When yeah. they give you a date, you show up. Right. Even so there though... was a default judgment probably entered against you. Exactly. But then at some point, you get another piece of advice. That since your checks had been garnished, they were small. Right. In order to get more money, you had to sign up for what was called dependence pay. Right. But you had to get some dependents. Right. And so what you did is you said you signed an affidavit of pater... Meaning you basically signed an affidavit of paternity, acknowledging paternity. Right. I was 19 and... And if you feel that strongly about something, you go... You take care of it yes. to the end. You yes. fight. <laughs> you fight. Man, That's what I had. not a meal ticket. She's... Uh, and so, child. at this That's point... I, that, so, you, wait a minute. She, she was a meal ticket. But no, she $35 was. A, a check. She's my child. I've been here. I stood with her. I was there when she cried. I was there when she asked for you. I was there when she wanted you. And you didn't want to be with her. And so, Mr. Jackson, you just said something in open court right now. You just said in court she was your meal ticket. Do you believe that Ms. Jones Henry was just trying to set you up to be the father because you were this military man? I believe so. And that was my problem right from the start. I said, she just want me just because I'm in the military. And she couldn't find the other guy. What I, what I feel is just there was no other guy. I had relatives of hers or friends of ours that called me and apologized. What did I these relatives that. say? They said that Melanie was not my child. I have two kids. I couldn't imagine leaving a child. Leaving a child. Look at that picture. I look like my kids. And I couldn't imagine leaving my kids abandoned with nothing, with no emotional support or anything else. And then have no emotions whatsoever. None. As a man. Did you f know he had doubts? When he signed that affidavit acknowledging paternity, did you think that that was basically an acknowledgement even to you? Like, yes, Melanie is mine. Yes. After all yes. these years, I yes. just want to say... Any and other person thought. I know would have fought. They would have came. They would have fought. So you're saying you never had any doubts because there were no other men. I had never had any doubts. But were there any other men? No. That's a two-part question. No, there were no other men. I don't know what he's talking about, about what he told me. There was no other men. She can attest to, even to this day, I had great thoughts of him. I never had anything negative thoughts of him because I still, to this day, felt that way. 
that he was a man I was in love with and that we were going to go on off into the sunset with each other. And I never had not spoke to Melanie the same way about him for 35 years, and she can attest to that. And you know what? After time, I didn't even want to hear anything about him. Mm. It took me to last year to say, you know what, for my kids, I'm going to go ahead and go through with this. And that's when I, that's when I contacted the courts. And I went, I went on with Facebook and I looked his name up because I remember his name and everything about him. For me, this is my, I didn't know any of that until now. And it, it hurts for him to, for me, to see and hear what he's saying because that's not how I felt. That's just demeaning to me. Because I was in love with him. Whether he was in love with me or not, I was in love with him. And that was true. And I told my daughter this. And I told her it was her father. And they, all these years, to realize that he never thought anything about me? Do you know that how hurtful that is? How much that hurts? Do you understand how much that hurt Mrs. Jackson? I knew I wasn't going to stick with her. Wow. And yep. yet you just... Listen, this happened in large part because of you. Because of your actions. Right. All and because can of I, me. Can I ask and now, I didn't... No. We that, had... No, no. Said, but we've got a young... Back. No, no. We've got a young woman who's experienced 35 years of pain and confusion. And let's be honest, it even got worse. You tried to make it better for you when you signed that affidavit acknowledging paternity. Right. But you just made it worse for her. They thought that was an acknowledgement that now I really do have a dad. So now where are you? And so then that was another level of disappointment and trauma for a young girl. But you were only doing it because you were just trying to make ends meet and you were trying to get the extra pay. So this saga, quite frankly, has gone on in 35 years. And I, I would like to ask him, so is that the same reason why you want to come to my college graduation? I did not want to come there well, and pretend. Well, when I, when I asked There's you no, why no... not be honest, why it's not? Because I, in all actuality, I was coming. But I, I, at the last minute, I said no. Always just, at the last minute. That's just you playing. Pop that's out. just, that was just, it wouldn't be right if I didn't know for sure. And you know what? It's like, yeah. even if I wasn't his, even if he had the doubt I wasn't his, he still could have gave me a chance of knowing who my real dad is. Mm. And by him signing and not coming to acknowledge his fault and everything else that's going on, it did not leave me anything but... Disillusionment. <sighs> I think the only way we can possibly move forward is to get the answers. Mm. It's time for the results. Jerome? Okay. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Jones Henry versus Jackson, when it comes to 35 year old Melanie Jones, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson, you are not the father. Really? I didn't have anybody else. He is not the father. <laughs> I did not. You point all that blame on me, and you put your daughter through all that for nothing. That's just... I don't blame you. I just wish you would have taken care of your business then so I wouldn't have to suffer now. I mean, I came here today for closure, and although he's not my dad, it's still closure for me because, you know, it's other situations that's involved in this, but he is, like to me, he don't even have a heart to even ask, hey, what was going on at that time? He could have <laughs> did anything but been there. And I'm not, I'm not trying to, make you feel bad, and I'm not saying that... Well, I feel bad. I'm going to tell you, I feel bad. I'm truly sorry. Even though I know you felt like all these years you weren't wanted and you weren't loved, <sighs> I think he came here today <laughs> out of love for you. <laughs> the hug. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> 
We have counseling and resources for everyone. We want you to take advantage of it. And we want you to figure out how to move forward. I know it's going to be difficult, but you can and you will. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Melanie, let me see you for a minute. Honey. I know that was hard, but I'm so glad you got at least one level of closure, all right? You're strong. You can get through this. We have counselor waiting for you right now. And we can figure out how to take this step by step, right? And so even though this particular part of the story didn't go your way, there are still many more chapters of your life for you to write. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. And I believe you're strong enough to do that. I'm so sorry I couldn't give you the answer you wanted today. But I'm here for you if you need me in the future, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Take care, okay? Thank you. All right.